Okay, let's begin our journey into our pranayama sadhana. So we're going to go through our Brahmri and the Brahmra pranayama and then completing our sadhana, our practice with the Yoni mudra. So the Brahmri and the Brahmra pranayama, so the Brahmri actually the sound comes from the B and in any yogic and into our Vedanta and Upanishad they explain that our back or our spine is represented as a Brahma Danda. So the Brahma is the creator and then the Danda is the stick. So our backbone or the, the nadis and the nerves through this are turned into this beautiful word Brahma Danda. So it's the stick of your creative force. Here you can think of your, your physiological, your psychological, your emotions, your thinking, all the choices there is some sort of root and connection through this. And then further it says into your, your energy, your nadi or your nervous system, this field, it creates or resonates this beautiful humming sound. Mm. And the humming sound has a higher and then lower, two different pitches depending on our state of mind, our sense of being, our physical, mental, emotional sort of state, what we going through. And, and you know, whenever you have a quieter moment and you can hear this, this whole buzzing sounded. Maybe if you want to quickly just use your finger and just close your ears and try to listen the, the inner sounds of your, your nervous system. Okay, and then let go and release your fingers when you're ready. So, yeah, and we've also got the male and the female, which Yonder mentioned the two pictures. So it's always um, helpful to remember that mostly with Sanskrit, when something ends in an ah sound, it's the male. So Brahma, Brahmara is the male B. And when it ends in an I, Brahmari is the female. So like the goddess is um, La Lakshmi, female, Saraswati, male, Shiva, uh, sorry, female, <laughs> um, Shiva is a uh, male, um, so yeah, so very, most of the time that rule is there, so a ending in A is male, ending in I is female. Hmm, thank you. So, so this, this sound that we hear, this resonating sound of our nervous system, then if you can move a little bit into our nadi and energetic field, then we have this, this whole intense humming sound. And, and for me, really, when I think about this humming, this primary sound, it's one of the, the expression we have of self-love or that the deepest of the gratitude or expression when we are really happy or we are into that ecstatic moment. So, you know, if someone serve you the beautiful meal and say, tell me what do you think? So we, we go like, hmm. Or, or when you really want to praise something, but without expressing it into the words, we do this, hmm. So this, this inner expression of the self or this resonating sound of our Brahma then they expresses into Brahmri. Some, some schools also use the word Maha Prana Dwani. So the Maha is the greatest or the divine, the cosmic. And then the Prana is this cosmic, this vital energy. And Dwani is the sound, the vibration, the resonating sound, the creative sound. So in, in, in this, this Pranayama, when we are invoking or, or resonating this Brahmri and Brahmra Pranayama, we are using that sound, that Pranayama to, to transcend from our physical, our our sensory limitations to have some experience, some more resonance into this resonating pranic or the cosmic vibration that can gradually lead us into a beautiful transcendental state of deep meditation or the inner quietness, inner happiness or balance. In, in a therapeutic sense, this pranayama becomes really great healing practice for your nervous system right through your back your crown, your head, your cortex part of your brain. So if you struggle with concentration or maybe you struggle with, with the tiredness or exhaustion of nervous system, 
lack of a good sleep or lack of not being able to remember or, or sort of the, the concentration or memory issues. This practice can really help to, to rejuvenate and enhance your ability or the skills of your nervous system. And it's one of the work actually I did back in, in school when I was working, where I took all these, these around 100 plus kids in the school and they were sort of labeled as, you know, the difficult kids. They, they were not very amazing in academics. And we did one variation of Surya Namaskar, couple of posters for a good 25 minute to 30 minute every morning for you an did, you took them out of the morning assembly didn't you mm. you did that instead of assembly so we, we did that practice every morning in the school days and then we did the nine rounds of this ramri or the mahapran sound or the mahapran dwani and honestly i was even myself was really surprised in a, in a very happy way that it changed not only their, the way they were thinking or the behaving, but it changed their academic result or the, the things that you can see, you know, how they all moved up towards between 50, 60% of their academic result. So we can really enhance that concentration, that memory. And it's, it's a great practice, especially, you know, now where we're spending a bit more time on, on the screens and stuff. So you can give yourself a good break to rejuvenate. And I also use this practice when I don't sleep very well. So I wake up in the morning and I'm still feeling like, oh, what do I do? So I might follow nine rounds of Savitri Rhythm Pranayama and then follow nine rounds of this Mahapranadwani or the Brahmri and have a good three to five, ten minutes relaxation. You might just fall asleep, trust me. That's what mostly happens, but that's okay. And then when you wake up, you will find yourself really fresh and sort of your nervous system get like a amazing amount of nourishing or, or nurture and, and relaxation and rejuvenation. So shall we go into practice? Is there anything? Uh, I think so. Yeah, carry on. I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay, so maybe if you want to choose a posture, you can come up on your feet in Vajrasana, you can be in cross-legged Sukhasana. So any comfortable posture is fine. Let's do three rounds of our Mukha Vastrika and Dharmika to prepare our body, our mind, just to release any sort of stale or stagnant air of our lungs. So breathe in here. Expel out. And bringing our chin up. Progressively sitting back up. Again. In sitting back up. Hold here for a few moments if you like. And bringing our chin up. And in a progressive manner, sit back up and straight. Take your hands on your lap or on your knees, the way you feel comfortable. Softly, gently close your eyes. Let's follow nine rounds of our Sautri Rhythm Pranayama. I'll guide the Savitri, so six, three, six, three rhythm. Breathe out to start. Breathing in. Hold two, three, out two, three, four, five, six. Hold two, three, in. Hold out.
fold in fold out fold in Fold out Fold Just relax the breath From our Savitri Rhythm Pranayama, let's consciously move into Ramri Pranayama, the humming sound of our female bee. We can follow 1-2 or 1-3 ratio. So we'll be inhaling in six counts and without breath we'll be making our humming sound mm. Breathe out. In. Let's follow our Ramra Pranayama now with the in-breath sound, the humming. Breathe out. In with the sound. Out.
sitting still or quietly. Third step, one of the most beautiful or advanced practice, also pranayama, then this practice also comes under dharana, dhyan and samadhi, the samyama practice. So we use the yoni mudra where we close all the doors of our senses, the orifices, and then we do six rounds of our Brahmri Pranayama, the female bee again with the out breath. So bring your hands to the front and using the thumb to close your ears and the other three, two fingers coming across your eyes towards the third eye center. One finger comes at front tip of your nose just to feel the touch of your breath and then the little finger on your lips. Breathe out. In. sound your breath relax your hands in dhyana mudra sit quiet or still for a few minutes enjoy the inner resonance the sound vibration Thank you. 